I'm here with Sheila, and she has a sensitive tooth, so I'm going to do some tests. I'm going to tap on the tooth to see if it's sensitive, and it, it is. And then I'm going to go ahead and try some cold stimulus called endo-ice. I'm going to put a little endo-ice on the tooth. And with endo-ice, if it's sensitive, and it is, we're going to go ahead and, and start root canal. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is numb up Sheila. We're going to use lidocaine 2% here. We have a painless injection with a thin needle. We'll check the x-ray so we know what we're doing. We go ahead and place a clamp around the tooth that we're going to root canal. And then we're going to isolate the tooth with a, a rubber barrier called a rubber dam. This isolates the tooth and keeps the area clean while we're working. Uh, keeps debris out of the mouth as well. And then we open the tooth up. Now when we do root canal, we're basically removing the nerves and blood vessels inside the tooth. But the first part is very much like a routine filling, like you would normally get. So that's what we're doing here. I'm just basically opening the tooth. And that's technically it's called an access, but uh, we open it up. Once we open the tooth up, we use small files, which I'm using here. And what that does is it both measures the length of the tooth's roots, and it also shapes the tooth as well and removes the infection inside the tooth root. That's why she needed root canal. She has an infected tooth. So we're, we're shaping the tooth right now with our files, and we're measuring up the files as well. I like to use the x-ray, which I'm using here, to give me one approximation of how long the tooth roots are, but we also uh, use a machine, which you'll see later, uh, called an apex locator to help us as well. We're measuring the tooth root. This is the apex locator. And we're clipping it on. I'm looking at that now to see that uh, it is, in fact, the root length has been verified. My assistant, Joelle, there is recording those measurements. You need to know how long the tooth roots are before you know you can completely remove all the infected tissue and as well as when you ultimately fill the root canal, you need to know how far you're going to place the filling because you can't really see underneath the jaw. So that's why you need these machines to tell us how, how far we need to go. What we're doing here again, I'm still verifying lengths. This tooth had four canals. Each canal has to be measured and that's what we're doing here. And my assistant is recording that as well. After we know the root lengths, here what I'm doing is I'm actually shaping the inside of the tooth roots. And what I'm doing is I'm using a rotary file on a slow speed handpiece. And what that's doing is that's helping me shape the tooth roots. Here I'm irrigating the canal, keeping it clean with sodium hypochloride. That disinfects as I'm shaping the canal. Now I'm going back in with my uh, rotary file to clean and shape the root canal. Having the engine-driven files helps because it increases the accuracy of the preparation inside the tooth, and also it makes root canals a lot faster than they used to be. Years ago, it would take three hours to do a root canal. Now we can do it in 40 minutes. So the technology that we have today really makes root canal much, much easier, and that's uh, a lot easier for the patient and for the dentist. But we still also use our hand files, which you see me using here, to verify the length of the root during the procedure and also to keep things clean. So we kind of use a combination of both the rotary or handpiece driven files as well as the hand files. I'm using lubricant on the files to help clean and shape the root canal there. I also put a little topical anesthetic on the file. And what's good about that is that helps if there's any part of the tooth that is sensitive, that actually helps numb the tooth even more than it already is so that the patient really feels no pain during the procedure. She's doing fine here. Sheila is not having any problems. Probably watching the TV up out of view here. So here again, we're cleaning, uh, just cleaning everything out making sure there's no more infected tissue in the tooth. Also, after the uh, tooth is shaped, we'll let the sodium hypochloride sit inside the canal. We're, we're irrigating it now. We'll let that sit in there for about five to 10 minutes after everything is done being shaped. And what that does is that uh, allows the tooth to disinfect even further before we fill it. That get, and it also gives the patient a break as well. And we just, we just let her sit there with the rubber